Whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of Whiskey.com. And today we have a relatively cheap bottle of single malt whiskey from the space side here on my cask. It's the Speyburn Braden Orach. It's 40% ABV, carries no aid statement, and is priced in the low 20s. Euros, dollars, pounds. And I tasted that bottle mm, 12 years ago, the first time. And then it had a golden tin and was just on the market. And in the meantime, uh, the appearance changed a little bit. Not the bottle itself, but uh, the package. And this is a very well done, stable card box with an inlet. So, yeah, a good one. And uh, the whiskey itself is from the Speyburn distillery that is located uh, outside the town of Rothes in the Speyside. And the distillery was founded in 1897 and they had to hurry to finish it because then had been the 60s, 60 year anniversary of the crown of Queen Victoria. And uh, well, they used the water from uh, a small creek which runs to the River Spey and the, uh, yeah, the name uh, Brad and Arch is Gaelic and uh, means golden salmon. And this shows that those rivers there were in the past and are still today full of golden salmon. Yeah. So this is a, a typical space cider, I would say. I had it, uh, as I said, uh, 12 years ago, and I remember it as a very, um, say, space side, typical, fruity, fresh, single malty, single malt together with a light oaky notes from the cask and this cap is very stable so the the making of this bottle of the whole package is contrary to the price you never get such a very well done packaging for that price incredible the cork is excellent and you have this maltiness fruitiness a typical space hider Oh, it's very slim, very tall. I had to uh, take the big wide stand for it, or the tall stand for it. Citrus fruits, apple, honey, pears, peaches. So a full basket of fresh fruits, maltiness, and a, yeah, some alcoholic note in it or is it some oakiness mm -hmm. and in the back a little bit of vanilla yeah it carries no statement but from the nose seven eight years yeah really cheers Mm -hmm. Silky, friendly on the tongue, and then spiciness kicks in, combines it with, with some sweeter notes, and then changing over to more spicy notes. This is oakiness in the back. Yeah, so it matures quite a time in oak casks, otherwise there wouldn't have been the chance to get this tannins into the whiskey. It's a long aftertaste, definitely oaky, a little bit of bitterness in the back. Yeah, so this is definitely a whiskey if you're doing long range something uh, where you would like to have this distinct uh, whiskey note with the intense oakiness. Yeah, so the nose is very, very typical Speyside, and the aftertaste is definitely a lot of oak. 
yeah, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.